For this demonstration of electrostatic levitation, I taped a 12-inch cake pan to the top of my Van de Graaff generator. I found that taping it with the lip upward provided stabilization so that the object being levitated didn't fly off to the side. I tried a pie plate, but its angled sides didn't help keep the uh, levitating object corralled as well as the uh, cake pan. To make the object being levitated in this video, I took a 3 quarter inch diameter styrofoam ball and stuck it on the end of a bamboo skewer. Then I took a piece of very thin aluminum foil, wrapped it around the sphere and then down the shaft of the skewer, and then withdrew the skewer, pinching the end. That worked pretty good, but I found that adding about a half a gram of lead weight to the very bottom helped stabilize it. How it works is that the Van de Graaff generator through the cake pan applies a charge to the object. Since the uh, cake pan and the object have the same charge, like charges repel, the object is thrown up and out of the uh, cake pan. To create the levitation effect, a wood stick is placed above the object, which very slowly drains off some of the charge. This helps keep it centered on the cake pan and creates sort of a levitating effect. As you can see, the action really isn't so much like stable levitation as slow bouncing. The reason is there are many variables that are very difficult to control. How fast the Van de Graaff generator is running, uh, the shape of the stick being used to uh, pull the object into the air, the uh, position on the stick you're holding it, the curvature on the end of the stick, and we'll go into all of these things in a minute. The biggest problem is finding the sweet spot for the speed at which the Van de Graaff generator is operating. Too slow and not enough charge is being created to let the object uh, be thrown upward. If it's too fast, it becomes unstable. It bounces too much and is even ejected from the cake pan. For my uh, Winsco NV100 Van de Graaff generator, I found about two-thirds power is the best setting. In this segment, I'm going to be trying several different wood sticks with different sizes and shapes. I found that both play critical roles in how well the object is stabilized and how well it levitates. As you can see here, the levitating object tends to cling too much to large, flattish surfaces. Whereas thin, pointed wood sticks don't provide enough lift to get it off the pan. After rummaging through all the sticks I could find in my house, I found the best object was the handle to a rubber spatula after I uh, took the rubber spatula end off. Where your hand is placed on the piece of wood also affects how well the levitation takes place. If it's gripped too far down towards the levitating object, the uh, charge is bled off too fast and you may not get enough lift to pull it into the air. If your hand is too far away from it at the very end of the stick, you may not bleed off enough and the levitating object will tend to cling to the end of the stick rather than floating in the air. Single plate electrostatic levitation is a very challenging but also a very interesting experiment. I hope this video helps you in your efforts to do it. And as always, thank you very much for watching.